chipsters! Our micro bit is very alive and well. We're now trying to get it to do some exercises. Woohoo! Shafi, how can we tell the micro bit to do some jumps? Uh, easy peasy. We just need some form of repetition. A repetition is when something is repeated for a certain number of times, or indefinitely. Examples of repetition in everyday life are jumping jacks, clapping hands, or even blinking. According to my research, repetitions in our code can help us create exercise routines. But what are they called? Repetitions in code are called loops. There are two main types of loops, for loops and while loops. For loops are loops that only occur a specified number of times. While loops has a condition that evaluates whether the input is true or false. The condition is tested before the code inside the loop runs. Which means that if the condition is false, the code inside the loop will not run at all. Wait, if the loop's condition is, if I press the button, does that mean the code would only run while the button is pressed? Hello, Chipses. I just used the forever event loop to program the micro bit to jump. Well, let's see if it works. Hey, look, it's working. The micro bit is jumping. Um. Oh, no. Why doesn't it stop jumping? It might go into cardiac arrest. Bobo, calm down. It's an easy answer. In everyday life, there are many things that repeat indefinitely, such as blinking or breathing. But there are also things that only need to be repeated a fixed number of times, such as the steps taken to wash hands or eating biscuits. This is why there are different types of loops. As forever loops repeat indefinitely, for and while loops can both repeat for a fixed number of times. We call this limited looping. Limited looping allows you to repeat a command sequence a limited amount of times, which allows looping to be possible within the onStart event. Without these types of loops, we would have to copy the same command sequence over and over again to have the same effect. According to my research, it's generally better to make code as short as possible as many lines can cause errors and bugs. Loops are one of the fundamental ways to make code as compact as possible. Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial!